right <coughs> types of stem modification so it is that underground stem modification in underground stem modification it means some stems are grows below the soil some stems are grows below the soil okay so modify to perform special functions to perform special functions there are known as underground stem modification generally stems are aerial but in some plants stems are grown below the soil and modified to perform special functions they are known as the underground stem modifications in underground stem modification they are also known as that multi purpose stem modification why it is known as a multi purpose stem modification it means they are participate in different functions so what are the storage of food material so after that uh, participate in vegetative reproduction and uh, so this plants are protect from the long period from the drought condition that's why this uh, underground stem modification are also known as multi purpose stem modification why it is meaning of the multi purpose stem modification first one it stores food material in the stem second one they are participate in vegetative reproduction process and also the plants are protected from drought period for long period because they are present inside the soil next it is protect from that grass eating animals because they are present inside the soil that's why this underground stem modification are also described as that multi purpose stem modifications right so underground stem modifications are mainly four types so based on that growth pattern inside the soil they are mainly four types so rhizome rhizome means uh, example so it is a turmeric and ginger example rhizome means the underground stem grows below the soil horizontally the underground stem grows below the soil horizontally growth horizontally growth in soil that is known as that rhizome okay so <coughs> it is a dorsi ventrally differentiated dorsi ventrally differentiated means what is the meaning so at the ventral side adventitious roots are present adv roots adv roots means uh, adventitious roots above that the dorsal side okay vegetative organs are present so this vegetative organs means what is the meaning axillary bud and uh, apical bud so axillary bud so involve in that uh, so horizontal growth of the rhizome so horizontal growth of rhizome is maintained by axillary bud then apical bud producing aerial shoot system aerial shoot system right in this leaves are convert into that scale leaves for prevention of protected to that underground stem modification in underground stem modification basically leaves are turned to that scale leaves so these are that completely scale leaves what is the use of scale leaves in underground stem modifications for protection purpose important bit objective for protection purpose so they are grows below the soil horizontally example turmeric and ginger right so after them calm calm means what is meaning the underground stem grows below the soil grows below soil vertically vertically so that is known as a car right so calm example what is that uh, colocasia and amorphophallus amorphophallus means it is known as a jamin kan common name jamin kan right so it grows below the soil it means uh, it is also having that axillary bud axillary bud after that so apical bud it is that apical bud it is an axillary bud axillary bud participate in vegetative reproduction process next apical bud producing apical bud is big right so it is participate in that production of that aerial shoot system towards that complete surface of that comb 
having that uh, EV adventurous routes. Right? So that is known as that calm. Calm means it grows below the soil vertically. Right? So it contains axillary buds and also apical buds. Axillary buds participate in vegetative reproduction. Apical buds producing aerial shoot system. Next, total surface of that plant body is covered by that adventitious roots. Right? So, that is known as that calm example, collocation and amorphophallus. After that, stem tuber. Stem tuber means what is that? So, example is the potato. Scientific name Solanum tuberosum. So, in Solanum tuberosum in potato, okay, at the apices of the branches. So, for example, an underground part of the stem grows below the soil, it producing branches. So, these branches grow inside the soil, at the tip of that branches, stores food material become swollen like structures or tuber like structures. This is swollen or tuber like structures are known as stem tuber okay so this uh, stem tuber example potato what is the most important bit objective generally all underground stem modification having that adventitious roots but which underground stem modification does not having that adventitious roots example potato it does not having that uh, adventitious roots next for example you take that it is a potato this potato is covered by that uh, okay brownish layer so this brownish layer is known as a periderm. Brownish layer is known as a periderm. So inside that potato showing of that eye-like structures. For example, it is a potato. So these are that uh, eye-like structures. Eye means what is the meaning? Nodes. They are participate in uh, vegetative reproduction process. Right? So each eye having that axillary bud and scar of leaf. So, I equal to axillary bud plus scar of leaf is known as that I. The presence of I, they are participate in uh, visited reproduction. They store food material in the form of uh, starch, right? So, that is known as a potato stem tuber. After that bulb, all underground stem modification stored food material in their stem pot. But bulb means, okay? In this underground stem modification, it is a biconvex disc like structure. It is the stem. It does not store food material. It does not store food material. It is an object bit. Right? All underground stem modification stores food material, but uh, which underground stem modification does not store food material means onion, it does not store food material. Example, allium cepha scientific name is onion, garlic allium sativum scientific name. In this, so what is the meaning? So it is that uh, stem is biconvex disc like structure. Above the stem, succulent leaf bases or succulent scales are stored food material, become fleshy. Okay? So, uh, the, in, for example, you take that onion, in this uh, succulent scale leaves are arranged, it means overlapping one above that another, just like that layers, one above the another layer. So that is a concentric circle, these are that uh, concentric circles. At that, uh, it is a dorsiventrally differentiated, at that ventral side, adventitious roots are present, it is that adventitious roots. Next, at that, uh, it means at the dorsal side, so it means vegetative buds are present. At the center, so that is known as that apical bud. So this apical bud producing inflorescence, it is the apical bud. This apical bud producing inflorescence or aerial shoot system. After then, it is that axillary bud. So this axillary bud participate in visited reproduction producing daughter bulbs. Okay. So that is known as that bulb. So it is that underground stem modification is uh, completed. Okay? Right.